going on guys it is tj back again with gold label sports in today's video i am going to teach you how to grow a sports card brand on youtube and social media in general so if you're new please subscribe like and comment what your favorite social media platform is to use to grow your current sports card brand or if you don't have one yet somewhere you'd like to start so first things first guys if you have not started a sports card brand already, a um, little bit behind, but it's still okay. There's still a ton of platforms out there right now that you can use to massively grow your sports card brand. TikTok is an example. Um, YouTube is a, is a great example. Instagram, those are probably the core three right now I would focus on. Um, YouTube, number one, TikTok, number two, and Instagram, number three. So what are the benefits of TikTok? Organic reach, all right? TikTok still right now has great organic reach and they also give you guys the ability to promote your current profile. And it's in the beginning beta, uh, beta stages, so you're not in an oversaturated market. So you're able to get the organic exposure both um, through kind of your posts, but also, you know, paid organic, um, which is, you know, through their advertising platform. So if you guys haven't started a TikTok channel um, or a platform or whatever you want to call it, um, absolutely go do so and start to think of different unique ways that you guys can showcase your sports cards. Everyone does the same thing, unfortunately, on TikTok, breaking, um, you know, showing off their collection. Find a unique way that you can um, showcase, you know, your sports card brand while still showing the trustworthiness and the fact that you are have an interesting profile. So I love TikTok. I think it's a great piece for your small, you know, small business or your brand. So absolutely go check it out. If you have any questions, um, I'm here to help. All right, so YouTube number two. YouTube is my favorite platform to grow a brand. Um, it has the most organic um, reach in terms of when you do, um, you know, post consistently over a two to three week period, you're actually able to um, see the progress from from post one from your video right to post like let's say if you post two or three a week you know 10 over a month period that's what i did when i first started i was posting anywhere from three to five videos um probably every two-ish weeks so almost 10 a month and that really helped me grow learn from my mistakes become a better um brand owner but also i was able to monetize uh, my brand and create a, a consulting business out of it and also get a lot of organic traffic to my eBay, which that will, we'll, we'll cover eBay again in another video because there's been a ton of updates in 2022 for eBay. So I was able to consistently um, post, really, really keep myself on a dedicated schedule. And like I said, YouTube is great because you're able to be found through search organically. It's a lot different than other platforms where it's just kind of you post, Hopefully the algorithm picks you up and showcases you at all. You can really help the YouTube algorithm for yourself by, you know, having titles in your uh, videos that our people are searching for. Um, you're able to put out great, interesting content um, and really showcase the creativity behind the sports card, you know, behind your sports card platform and also brand, which is another amazing opportunity. And YouTube Live, you're able to live stream and auction off your cards break boxes, all that great stuff, similar to whatnot. Um, number three, guys, Instagram. So as you guys know, Instagram reels are the big thing right now. I would, if you're trying to grow a brand, I would do reels, that's it. I wouldn't post any sort of feed pics, any sort of like that. You wanna get the maximum exposure as you possibly can. And that's why the reels, reels are great. Short form content is obviously dominating, but I still believe YouTube is king when it comes to um, really growing that brand because you're found in Google search alongside YouTube search. Um, Instagram, I feel like it's still, you know, obviously it helps grow your brand, but I'm telling y'all it's, it's dwindling down because TikTok, um, is becoming the search powerhouse. It's actually outperforming Google um, by like 30% or in where people go to search for things. So if you know people are looking for breaking sports card news, huge, you know, pulls out of boxes during live streams, whatever it may be, revolve a, tr a channel around that. Same thing that goes with YouTube. YouTube is more that long form educational content where you're able to obviously educate your following, but give them, you know, sneak peeks 
exclusive access to certain material that you may have, funnel all that organic traffic into your other social media platforms so that you, you know, develop a powerhouse brand. Instagram is more, like I said, in terms of, you know, that influencer social status kind of thing, which is cool, but I personally feel like, you know, Instagram is great for growing, um, you know, a business, but I feel like, like I said, I'm nothing against Instagram. I feel like it's a great tool, but there's a lot of saturation, believe it or not, in Instagram. And you really have to be like a celebrity or, you know, pretty close to really get anywhere. Um, nowadays, you know, if you, you know, have a thousand followers, there are a lot of ways to monetize your following. Um, I did that, I did that too, you know, last year. I actually recently deleted my Instagram because I'm really trying to refocus on what I want to do in terms of my uh, social media presence. But I was able to build up a pretty massive following on social media. I think I had almost seven, 8,000 followers. Like right here, we're almost hitting 4,000 subscribers. Um, TikTok, I never did a gold label sports TikTok. You know, maybe I will in the future. Um, but I've been doing a lot of behind the scenes business consulting, helping you know people like you who are watching start and grow a successful sports card brand, business, box breaking business, whatever it may be, um, that's what I've been really focusing on. So we may have some really exciting things coming out in the future, kind of doing some relaunches now that we've done a ton of beta testing. So I'm really, really excited for the fact that I'll be able to give you guys even more resources to help you guys grow and be successful um, when it comes to buying, selling, investing in your sports cards. And if you're the same thing with Pokemon cards or maybe non-sports, I help and do all the same thing with that as well. So guys, another platform too, I'll throw it in here. Um, eBay is actually a social platform. Believe it or not, eBay and whatnot as well are great social tools to help blow up your sports card brand. Um, my eBay, I on average do about anywhere from, if I'm not in the mood to sell $1,000 a month, if I'm in the mood to sell, the max I've ever made is almost $8,000 in sales over like a 45 day period that equated to about 6,000 in profit. That's the best I've ever done. But I scaled it, I scaled it that much where I was doing 1,000, then 2,000 a month, then 3,000 a month, 4,000, 500, 6,000. I stopped, then I reassessed and figured out, okay, how can I come back and do it even bigger where I'm doing six to 10K months? Um, so that's where I'm at right now, trying to really focus and scale that. Um, now we go into whatnot. Now whatnot is kind of atmosphere now, but it is becoming a kind of a powerhouse in the live stream game. Um, you know, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, all that stuff. That's great. You can also monetize those platforms, but the sports car guys, the Pokemon car guys, all kind of those car guys, they live on the whatnot app because it's just a great experience. In my opinion, I love whatnot. I think it's an amazing experience for someone obviously to buy cards, but obviously for a seller who's trying to grow a brand, that is where you're able to really monetize your following, grow a, grow a really successful um, you know brand on there, but also have a devoted and loyal um, audience that you can obviously sell to. So guys, um, if you guys have any questions how to tie all this together, bring it all in, you wanna tie everything together and live where you have, are having the most success, make that your number one platform. For me, it is YouTube. Um, number two was Instagram, but I may, like I said, start a TikTok and then able to you know, monetize that and have like a more creative um, kind of spin on things. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions about how to grow a successful sports card brand on your social media followings, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatnot, eBay, anything like that, I'm always here. You can you guys can uh, comment below and let me know. But this has been TJ with Gold Label Sports and I will see you in the next one. Three, two, one.